What's up guys, my name is Steven Dux. Uh, in this video, there will be uh, no car, no houses, no fancy stuff I'm showing. Um, I'm going to explain uh, how did I made $3 million before age of 24 and what is my exactly journey I went through. So at the very beginning, I came here as an exchange student uh, from China, I think when I was 16 years old. So I went to the high school in uh, the United States and uh, at the beginning, my English was not very good. So and learning anything or learning anything that based is with uh, English is very, very difficult for me. So the only thing that doesn't have uh, English based is math. So that's why I, that's probably Asians are really good with math because they don't need uh, anything based with English. And also um, typically in Asia, they have higher standard with math. So that's why when they come here with the same age, they can do math a lot better. And when, anyway, that's that. So at the beginning, I went to the high school here. Uh, I wasn't very, very good with English. So at the first high school, I actually got kicked out. Uh, so I transferred into another high school, uh, started my uh, high school journey, and after that, I graduated. Uh, now the first year I went to the college, I started looking into something that have a decent income, uh, either stock market or real estate. Uh, I have took a look of all those factors before. And basically for me, I'm an international student. I'm not very good with English, especially on the lawyer side and uh, and also with that, all those federal tax and involved with real estate. So I'm not very good with that because I'm not very good with communicate with other people uh, with a different language. So I put the real estate away and I went in with the stock market. So at the beginning, uh, when I look at the stock market now, yes, it will take a long time to learn all the terms and uh, how to read SEC filings, uh, how to read 10K, 10Qs. But all those, after I learn for a while, I can just stare at the computer. I don't need to communicate with other people. So it's not a like communicate based uh, doing the business. So that's why at the beginning I chose uh, stock market than the real estate. Now, people looking at me think, okay, you turned 27,000 into $3 million in three years. And I think that's all based on your talent. No, it's not. Because when I started, I don't even know what stock market is. And I know what stock market is, but I don't know what, what's the term of it, the, um, how to call them in English. So uh, um, after starting the market and I have to go through all the terms what line chart is, what candlestick chart is. I started from the very, very beginning. So a lot of people want to go through guides and stuff, but at the beginning, as a beginner, I think you should go with uh, Google. Anything you don't know, just Google. And watch some YouTube videos, it's really, really helpful. That's why I do some uh, YouTube video um, tutorials for some uh, new beginners and give uh, current market instructions and to let people know what should what should be doing, what should be not doing. So let's jump back uh, at the beginning. So uh, after I graduated from high school, and I will start looking at okay, how do I get into the market? So I found a couple mentors. Uh, there is uh, Tim Gortani, there's Tim Sykes, there's uh, Invest on the Ground, there's other mentors, and I basically purchased other uh, tutorials and start looking things through. So what I always believe is now all the educational materials, they're not very uh, clear. So now why do I say that? Because now in high school or grade school or even in college, and some of the classes are uh, not very useful for your major. You just basically, uh, you're you are basically taking them for the credit, right? So uh, to be able to graduate. So there's a ton of time that it was wasted and now you can learn something else uh, or you can do something else. So in the high school, uh, I want to save as much as uh, I want to save a lot of times to play the video games because if I can learn the core thing of what the lecture was taught and I can shrink them down to learn them in a really short amount of time so I can uh, save all those rambling stuff and people talking about their personal experience. So I can save all that time to play, to play more little bit uh, video games. And now later on, I go to the college, and if I can learn of the core thing really fast, I can save, um, I can save time to learn 
more about stock market, how to invest. Uh, so basically, I, I was doing that uh, uh, at the first year when I got into college. So my first year was engineering. And basically, the concept of engineering is to make stuff sufficient as possible. So now you want to achieve 100% um, efficiency in, your, in a really short amount of time. So that's the concept that I'm getting, and, and it's really getting close to uh, the concept that I was learning from uh, in high school because I want to save time, play video games, I want to save time, learn uh, stock market in the college. Um, so that concept that I also applied in the market. So at the first time when I was started, I was learning a bunch of stuff, SPY, how to, uh, how to trade ETFs, uh, how to trade penny stocks, how to long-term investing. And all the things I look through is uh, in the stock market, you can start with $100, $2,000, $3,000. So there is no uh, amount limitations. But in the real estate, you need credit score, uh, you need uh, a base amount of money. If you can't get loans, uh, basically to buy into properties, it's really, it will take a long time for all those funds to come back. So you basically, your equity are stuck in the household. So the, the return of the rental property will be a much slower than if you take a loan from the bank, uh, then you basically can put down 20%. Then in about two years, all those 20% will come back. Then you can just use the rent to pay off the loans. So I think uh, if you don't have a credit score, your tied down equity will be really, really bad for your rental properties. So that's basically what I think of real estate that's really, uh, really hard for college students. So I basically just went into a stock market. Now, as I mentioned, my English wasn't that good. So it took me a long time to really learn all those terms. Um, and I applied the engineer concept into the stock market and some of the gaming strategy as well. So I used to play a, a, a game called StarCraft 2 and there's a bunch of uh, strategy involved and there's a bunch of um, combinations of different units to counter your opponent unit. And in the, in the market, it's pretty much the same because in different situations, you can use different strategy to counter the majority of people are doing. So there's statistics that stock market was showing 90% of people lose money in the market. Uh, the reason why I think of that is if you can do 90% of people that don't do, and you can basically put the opposite uh, positions to against them, then you should be that 10% of people to make money. And now, as a beginner, uh, the mistakes I've been making is probably in the 90% of the people making the same mistakes as me. So at the beginning, I write down all the mistakes that I made. Uh, I put them on the wall, remind me what I shouldn't do, what I should do. So in a long time of practice, uh, I can kind of tell what kind of criteria to look for uh, different stocks. And if I made my criteria, I should go in. If I, if I didn't make my criteria, I should not go in. And in the market, there's a bunch of emotion uh, are involved because when I started uh, trading stocks, if I say a stock is going up and up and up and up and start going parabolic, there's no pullback or no red candle. I want to go in because I think the stock's gonna go higher. But when I, as soon as I chased in, I am, I'm with the 90% people who lose money. So as soon as I chase in, the stock drops and I will be basically done money. So I learned that that markets are really, really heavy lean towards to trading psychology. So you can really learn from, if you can really know what other people are doing, you can basically creating a strategy to counter the rest of the people. And that's also really related to what, uh, one of the gaming because you have to think of different counter strategy to counter your opponent. And also with the engineering concept that you want to make uh, statistics, you want to you know, back testing all the strategies. So I basically created a huge amount of spreadsheets that uh, record different trading strategies to see if they really work. Because if you want to make a machine to work, you have to uh, test a thousand times, 10,000 times to make sure there's no instant, to make sure there's uh, what's the percentage of the fail, fail rate 
uh, then you have the confidence to sell this machine, to use this machine to other people. Um, now that's exactly what I apply into the market. That's exactly how I approach the market. And so basically I use psychology, I use data, uh, and combine them together to create a really high winning percentage profitable strategy. Um, after about, I think, well, three months of study, uh, because I think because of the concept that I learned from uh, the gamings or uh, the uh, engineering on the statistics, and you, you grow my account and you also massively increased my winning percentage uh, to almost 85 per, uh, 85% per trade. Um, then later on this year, I filter all my bad trades. So each year, I'll be keep, I've been keep improving. So now people, because I have been in this game for a solid about three years now, uh, people think there's a great risk involved with stock market, either day trading, the swing trading, or their long term investing. So long term investing has less risk because. Um, Google, Amazon, uh, Alibaba, they're all huge market cap. So they have fundamentals. They have a bunch of equity. So they were, they're not going to lose it in one day, right? So slow investing in those markets that can grow your account, but it doesn't really grow your account aggressively. So that's why I pick day trading and swing trading. Some of the tickers can go a thousand percent, two thousand percent, but I can't catch a thousand percent, two thousand percent. It's like a lottery. There's a specific strategy that involved in it. You can only catch about fifty percent on the downside, maybe sixty percent on the upside. If I can catch that predictable move, then my account can grow a thousand times per year or two thousand times per year. That's why the first year I turned twenty-seven thousand to I think it was nine hundred thousand the first year. The key is to really learn from what other people are thinking because stock market, when the candles are moving back and forth, people are trading it. People who are behind the computer are trading it. They're creating those moves. So once you can learn the move they're going to make, then you counter the move they're going to make, then you can make money. So that's basically why 90% people lose money, 10% people make money. And also stock market can grow your small equity very, very aggressively. I think there's risk involved in, but at the first year I'm in college, I have nothing to lose. I only have that much money in my pocket. And I basically just dive in and want to learn more because later on, I won't, I will have kids. Then I'm not afford to lose what I have now, but I can afford to lose when I'm in college because I don't have that much to lose. I basically just want to gain as much experience as possible, but it turns out giving me a great return. Let me give out a really simple explanation. Uh, when I started playing a video game, it took me a six years to grow from the bottom to the top 1% of the entire world. And it took me literally seven years of practice. And in the market, I basically spent a lot more time than the video games. It took me about three years to slowly learning uh, from mistakes, slowly learning what should, what should I be doing? What should I not be doing? How to control emotions? How to really do risk management? Uh, how to not chase into other huge spikers when other people are chasing? Uh, how, that's where you help, um, where other people are chasing. So it's a really difficult learning curve, but anything that you want. So if you want to be successful, it really takes time. As myself, for example, English is not my first language. I'm learning a completely new market. And at the beginning, I spend about eight hours a day studying uh, to learn different terms, how to read SEC, that's the worst part, and how to learn technical analysis, fundamental analysis, uh, what market zone I shouldn't be trading or what market zone I should be trading. Um, it's not about learning from other people. You, have, you want to accumulate all the uh, useful stuff and to combine them and to put them into your head to create your own strategy. That's, that's exactly what I've been doing for the past three years. Then I just created more sufficient strategies within these three years. Each year I've been keep improving, improving, improving. And later on, I think I'll be much better and can get involved into other 
businesses like real estate because I do have the funds to be able to get into that market now. So for all the uh, other viewers out there, if you want to be good at something, you have to set your mind into it, to put enough hours into it, and it takes time because nothing in this world can really make you rich quick, even in the stock market. Uh, now your, your amount of money or your amount of uh, wealth equal how much work you put it in because when I was studying, I was studying nonstop and wasn't very healthy because I was learning when I'm showering, learning when I'm going to the bathroom. Um, and end of the day, I got what I wanted, but like my health went really, really, so I wasn't really healthy. I think I got a like stomach ulcer for long, like two months. So that wasn't really good, but I think it's worth the effort anyways. I hope this video really motivates you. Uh, I, this is my really personal uh, stories for my trading journey. And I do have my own uh, education service now because I want to put all the useful information out there for people to even learn even faster because uh, I have went through all other mentors. Like some of them, 90% of them are uh, not very useful. And you basically have to dig through so many of lessons to be able to find something that is useful to put in your notebook. So um, now the concept of, of reason why I created this educational service because I want to gather all the inf uh, useful information out there. So you are not going. So you are not going to be like me to put to to really spend so much time to find all those useful informations. And basically, if you learn from this system and you will learn a lot more faster than other people who spend years out there like me uh, and spending 10 hours a day trying to figure it out and spend 10, eight hours a day in front of the market, watching the market to think about, okay, why the, why this pattern happens? What's the, what's the psychology behind it? It's all figured it out. So if you're interested, uh, click the link below uh, down the video and uh, thank you very much for hearing my stories. I hope you guys have a great day.